Vaisheshika or Vaisesika Sanskrit, Vaisesika is one of the six orthodox schools of Hindu philosophy Vedic systems from ancient India. In its early stages, the Vaisesika was an independent philosophy with its own metaphysics, epistemology, logic, ethics, and soteriology. Over time, the Vicesica system became similar in its philosophical procedures, ethical conclusions and soteriology to the Nyaya school of Hinduism, but retained its difference in epistemology and metaphysics. The epistemology of Vicesica school of Hinduism, like Buddhism, accepted only two reliable means to knowledge, perception and inference. Vicesika school and Buddhism both consider their respective scriptures as indisputable and valid means to knowledge, the difference being that the scriptures held to be a valid and reliable source by Vaisikas were the Vedas. Vaisheshika school is known for its insights in naturalism. It is a form of atomism in natural philosophy. It postulated that all objects in the physical universe are reducible to paramanu atoms, and one's experiences are derived from the interplay of substance a function of atoms, their number and their spatial arrangements, quality, activity, commonness, particularity and inherence. According to Vicesica school, knowledge and liberation were achievable by a complete understanding of the world of experience. Vicesica Darshana was founded by Kannada Kashyapa around the 6th to 2nd century BC. Topic <inaudible> overview <inaudible> Although the Vaisheshika system developed independently from the Nyaya school of Hinduism, the two became similar and are often studied together. In its classical form, however, the Vaisheshika school differed from the Nyaya in one crucial respect, where Nyaya accepted four sources of valid knowledge, the Vaisheshika accepted only two, the epistemology of Vaisheshika school of Hinduism accepted only two reliable means to knowledge, perception and inference. Vaisheshika espouses a form of atomism, that the reality is composed of five substances. Examples are earth, water, air, fire, and space. Each of these five are of two types, explains Ganeri, Paramanu, and Composite. An Parmanu para means beyond and a new means atom or very small but divisible particle, while Parmanu is indivisible, is that which is indestructible, indivisible, and has a special kind of dimension, called small. Anu. A composite is that which is divisible into parmanu. Whatever human beings perceive is composite, and even the smallest perceptible thing, namely, a fleck of dust, has parts, which are therefore invisible. The Vaisikas visualized the smallest composite thing as a triad trianuka with three parts, each part with a dyad dianuka. Vaisikas believed that a dyad has two parts, each of which is an atom. Size, form, truths and everything that human beings experience as a whole is a function of parmanus, their number and their spatial arrangements. Vaisheshika postulated that what one experiences is derived from dravya substance, a function of atoms, their number and their spatial arrangements, guna quality, karma activity, samanya commonness, vishesha particularity, and samavaya inherence, inseparable connectedness of everything. Epistemology 
Hinduism identifies six pramanas as epistemically reliable means to accurate knowledge and to truths: pratyaksa (perception), anumana (inference), upamana (comparison and analogy), arthapati (postulation, derivation from circumstances), anupalabdhi (non-perception, negative, cognitive proof), and sabda (word, testimony of past or present reliable experts). Of these Vicesika epistemology considered only pratyaksa perception and anumana inference as reliable means of valid knowledge. Nyaya school, related to Vicesika, accepts four out of these six. Pratyaksa, pratyaksa means perception. It is of two types, external and internal. External perception is described as that arising from the interaction of five senses and worldly objects, while internal perception is described by this school as that of inner sense, the mind. The ancient and medieval texts of Hinduism identify four requirements for correct perception: Indriyarthasanikarsa, direct experience by one's sensory organs with the object, whatever is being studied; Avyapadesya, non-verbal, correct perception is not through hearsay. According to ancient Indian scholars, where one's sensory organ relies on accepting or rejecting someone else's perception, avya Bhakara does not wander, correct perception does not change, nor is it the result of deception because one's sensory organ or means of observation is drifting, defective, suspect and vyavasayat maka definite, correct perception excludes judgments of doubt, either because of one's failure to observe all the details, or because one is mixing inference with observation and observing what one wants to observe, or not observing what one does not want to observe. Some ancient scholars proposed unusual perception as pramana and called it internal perception, a proposal contested by other Indian scholars. The internal perception concepts included pratibha intuition, samanyalaksana pratyaksa a form of induction from perceived specifics to a universal, and nyanalaksana pratyaksa a form of perception of prior processes and previous states of a topic of study by observing its current state. Further, the texts considered and refined rules of accepting uncertain knowledge from pratyaksa pranama, so as to contrast nirnaya definite judgment, conclusion from anadyavasaya indefinite judgment. Anamana, anamana means inference. It is described as reaching a new conclusion and truth from one or more observations and previous truths by applying reason. Observing smoke and inferring fire is an example of anumana. In all except one Hindu philosophies, this is a valid and useful means to knowledge. The method of inference is explained by Indian texts as consisting of three parts, pratijna hypothesis, hichu a reason, and durshtanta examples. The hypothesis must further be broken down into two parts, state the ancient Indian scholars, sadhya that idea which needs to proven or disproven and paksha the object on which the sadhya is predicated. The inference is conditionally true if sapaksha positive examples as evidence are present, and if vipaksha negative examples as counter evidence are absent. For rigor, the Indian philosophies also state further epistemic steps. For example, they demand vyapti, the requirement that the hechu reason must necessarily and separately account for the inference in all cases, in both sapaksha and vipaksha. A conditionally proven hypothesis is called a nigamana conclusion. Topic. Syllogism The syllogism of the Vicesika school was similar to that of the Nyaya school of Hinduism, but the names given by Prasastapada to the five members of syllogism are different.
Topic: Literature. The earliest systematic exposition of the Vaisheshika is found in the Vaisheshika Sutra of Kannada or Kanabaksha. This treatise is divided into ten books. The two commentaries on the Vaisheshika Sutra, Ravanabhasya and Bharat Bahavarti are no more extant. Prasastapada's Padar the Dharmasamgraha c. 4th century is the next important work of this school. Though commonly known as Bhasya of Vaisheshika Sutra, this treatise is basically an independent work on the subject. The next Vaisheshika treatise, Khandra's Dasapadar the Zastra, 648, based on Prasastapada's treatise, is available only in Chinese translation. The earliest commentary available on Prasastapada's treatise is Vyomasiva's Vyomavati, 8th century. The other three commentaries are Sridhara's Nyayakandali 991, Udayana's Kiranavali 10th century, and Srivasta's Lilavati 11th century, Sivaditya's Saptapadoarthi which also belongs to the same period, presents the Nyaya and the Vaisesika principles as a part of one whole. Samkara Misra's Upaskara on Vaisesika Sutra is also an important work. The categories or Padartha According to the Vaisheshika school, all things that exist, that can be cognized and named are Padarthas, literal meaning, the meaning of a word, the objects of experience. All objects of experience can be classified into six categories: dravya (substance), guna (quality), karma (activity), samanya (generality), vasesa (particularity), and samavaya (inherence). Later, Vaisikas (Sridhara and Udayana and Sivaditya added one more category above: non-existence. The first three categories are defined as artha which can perceived and they have real objective existence. The last three categories are defined as buddhiapexam product of intellectual discrimination and they are logical categories. Dravya substance, the substances are conceived as nine in number. They are prithvi earth ap water tejas fire vayu air akasa ether kala time dik space atman self or soul and manas mind the first 5 are called buddhas the substances having some specific qualities so that they could be perceived by one or the other external senses Guna quality. The Vaisesika Sutra mentions seventeen gunas qualities, to which Prasastapada added another seven. While a substance is capable of existing independently by itself, a guna quality cannot exist so. The original seventeen gunas qualities are rupa (color), rasa (taste), ganda (smell), sparsa (touch), samkhya (number), paramana (size, dimension, quantity), prathaktva (individuality), samyoga (conjunction, accompaniments), vibhaga (disjunction), paritva (priority), aparitva (posteriority), buddhi (knowledge), sukha (pleasure), dukkha (pain), icha (desire), divesa (aversion), and prayatna effort. To these Prasastapada added Gurutva heaviness, Dravatva fluidity, Sneha viscosity, Dharma merit, Adharma demerit, Sabda sound, and Samskara faculty. Karma activity, the karmas activities like gunas qualities have no separate existence, they belong to the substances. But while a quality is a permanent feature of a substance, an activity is a transient one. Akasa ether, kala time, dik space, and atman self, though substances, are devoid of karma activity. 
Samanya generality, since there are plurality of substances, there will be relations among them. When a property is found common to many substances, it is called samanya. Vicesa particularity, by means of vicesa, we are able to perceive substances as different from one another. As the ultimate atoms are innumerable so are the visases. Samavaya inherence, Kannada defined samavaya as the relation between the cause and the effect. Prasastapada defined it as the relationship existing between the substances that are inseparable, standing to one another in the relation of the container and the contained. The relation of samavaya is not perceivable but only inferable from the inseparable connection of the substances. The atomic theory According to the Vicesica school, the Trasaranu are the smallest mahat perceivable particles and defined as trianukas triads. These are made of three parts, each of which are defined as divanuka dyad. The divanukas are conceived as made of two parts, each of which are defined as paramanu atom. The paramanus atoms are indivisible and eternal, they can neither be created nor destroyed. Each paramanu atom possesses its own distinct vicesa individuality. .The measure of the partless atoms is known as paramandala paramana. It is eternal and it cannot generate the measure of any other substance. Its measure is its own absolutely. See also Darshanas Hindu philosophy Hinduism Nyaya philosophy Padartha Tarka Sangraha Vicesika Sutra Atomism Notes <laughs>